In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Strapi on Versa. So Strapi is a headless CMS that provides an easy way to manage content. So while Versa excels at deploying front end de applications, deploying Strapi on Versa requires a few extra steps since it's a back end service. So first of all, I couldn't show you some steps in here due to the restrictions here in Strapi, but listen carefully as I explain each step. So first of all, Let's all know what are the prerequisite of Strapi. So you need to install the node.js, the version 18 or the latest version. And also you need a GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket account for Vercel integration. You also need a PostgreSQL database. For example, Superbase, Railway, or Neon, since Vercel doesn't support SQLite. And the last one is a Vercel account. So to set up a Postgrel SQL database, since Vercel doesn't allow local file storage or SQLite databases, you need to use a Postgrel SQL. So you can set up a free database on Superbase, Railway, or Neon. So assumingly, we've done that setting up for a database since I couldn't show you some steps in here. Like I said, because of the restrictions here in Strapi, you need to contact their customer service in order to open an account in here. So assumingly, we have on that. So we finished that. So after setting up the database, get the connection URL, for example, the post request, the username, then password host, and then the port and the database for later use. So copy that. And then in here, once you have an account here in Strapi and already access the main interface of the Strapi, configure Strapi for productions. So clone your Strapi project and update the database configuration. So in order to do that, just open the configdatabase.js or configdatabase.ts if using TypeScript and modify it to use PostgreSQL. Now to create a virtual JSON config, since Strapi is a backend service, we need to configure virtual correctly. So in order to do that, create a virtual.json file in your project root. And after that, um, we have some options, a two options to deploy it to Versal. So the first one is installing the Versal in your command line using command line and then running the deployment command. And the second option is uh, via GitHub or Versal dashboard via pushing your Strapi project to a GitHub repository. So you'll need to go to the Versal dashboard and import the GitHub repo and push it to the repository. And that's it. That's how you deploy a Strapi on Versal. I hope this video helped. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.